Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Gala Games whose current price stands at the 0.02758 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is down by 2.1 three percent and in this video i want to give you the key scenarios that i expect to play out basing my analysis on the edu 12 structures the fibonacci's and also the key areas of support and resistances and i'll kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart gala games from the all-time high has been seeing no prices in this massive abc corrective movement and in that abc corrective movement we have made our low at around the 0.02726 dollar mark and starting my analysis here on the daily chart in this on this chart we can have an edu 12 structure and that edu 12 structure is starting from these low prices that gala games had been uh, had been trading within at the start of of the chart and we had a very nice impulsive movement to the upper side seeing the formation of a higher edu 12 count one and within this abc corrective movement that we are seeing over here this is what is forming a wave two and because a wave two is a corrective movement we also expected to see that abc corrective movement so that abc corrective movement fits to be within that part of the chart then after seeing the low for that uh, wave two i'm expecting a very nice bounce to the upper side in the formation of a wave three then expect a wave four and then continue pushing higher in the formation of a wave five maybe taking us back to an all-time high in the next bull market still using the daily chart we can sketch out a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave three using a trend-based fibonacci and we can use the trend-based fibonacci connecting it from the low of that first wave down there to the high of the first wave then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave down here and that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side using the fib level 1.618 and that gives me a minimum target area back to around the 1.36 dollar mark and that means in case the low for that uh, for the bear market is in here on the gala games charts and also see a bull movement in the whole crypto market then there's a possibility of gala games giving us a very nice pump taking us back to around the 1.36 one dollar mark and that would be in the formation of these higher edu 12 count three and once we maximize the formation of that wave three then we can expect a retracement in the formation of our wave four before we continue pushing higher in the formation of our wave five to the upper side and getting to the four hour chart so that we can see what we have here on the one hour on the four hour chart here on the four hour chart we have been seeing no prices which has taken us back to around the 0.02 five dollar mark and that was after losing the key area of support at around the 0.04 dollar mark and that finished off i hope it finished off the formation of that higher edu 12 count two and soon we might, we might see a very nice impulsive movement to the upper side seeing the formation of that higher edu 12 count three and to support that movement to the upper side in the formation of that higher edu 12 count three assuming the low is in for that higher edu 12 count two here on the one hour chart we have a movement that we are seeing over here that is obeying the edu 12 structures and if i draw it out we can have these as the first wave to the upper side then this is the formation of a wave two then i'm expecting a very nice bounce to the upper side in the formation of a wave three then a wave four and then continue pushing higher in the formation of a wave five to complete a higher edu 12 count one which should be a fractal wave within that higher edu 12 count three that i have sketched out a minimum target area to the upper side at around the 1.36 dollar mark and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of this edu 12 structure over here we can use the fibonacci's to get a minimum retracement area to the lower side in the formation of this wave two over here connecting the fibs from the low of that first wave to the high of that first wave and that gives me a minimum target area between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.618 and you can see we have retraced into that target area and we have even lost the fib level 0.78 fib level that is the fib level 0.618 and I'm, I'm hoping that gala games will not lose the fib level 0.78 which perfectly lies at around the 0.026 dollar mark and in case we continue holding there's a possibility of gala games giving us a nice pump over here in the formation of these wave three to the upper side and using the trend based fibonacci one more we can sketch out a minimum target area to the upper side using the trend based fibonacci connecting it and then dragging the fibs to the low of that wave two down there and that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side at around the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.041 dollar mark so in case 
we see a reversal over here and continue pushing higher obeying the edu 12 structures we can see a nice bounce back to around the 0.04 dollar mark in the formation of that wave 3 then expect a wave 4 and continue pushing higher in the formation of a wave 5 to complete that higher edu 12 count one so that is what i'm expecting to play out here on the gala games chart and we also need to have in mind that in case the bear market is in and we see a reversal here in the charts there is a possibility of gala games taking us back to around the above the one dollar mark and let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated on that also taking a look at the indicators here on the one hour chart to see what movements will be supported here on the one hour rsi we are trading at around the 34 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support any movements to the upper side also taking a look at the macd here on the one hour chart we have printed a bullish cross and that would mean higher prices are coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated